Okay, this is this guy, whoever this is. Um, whoa, from the first hand. Okay, I was just going to say this is mind blowing. Uh, this guy was involved in MK Ultra. Mm. I, I did the draw in this very car. These pictures that are taken here, that are from this field, this was like a goodbye for me from Germany. Um, in a very, very, very crazy, unusual car. <laughs> it's a really, really unusual car, and it's a really, really beautiful car. Um, I was transported also in a car like this, and Merkel told me that this was my favorite car, really. I think Mercedes were my favorite cars when I was a child. Uh, but I was told that this is also the car I was transported in. This is one thing I have to say that this is so weird, but so beautiful car. Uh, This is this is this is a Mercedes, and this is a, a BMW, and um, yeah, there is a little bit of Audi inside also, but this was made by the Audi back in the day. Uh, and up front, when you look at it, it looks like a Renault 18, something like that. A very very weird car, but. Uh, in Germany, this was the car that they used quite a lot to transport me with. Probably exactly these people did. Uh, it could well be because this is a first hand car that this family was very, very involved in it. So, this would be a very, very interesting thing to maybe visit. What a crazy, beautiful little car. I think it's worth every fucking dime, this one. Whoever is going to buy this, this is definitely worth it every dime. What a beautiful car this is. I had a feeling that when Merkel delivered me to these people, uh, I had a feeling that uh, that she is trying to use me to sell this car, that she's trying to make me put this online uh, so that somebody... I became envious of this car. I, I, I liked it from the second that I saw it. And the thing about it is, I figure out, since it cannot be mine, I said to myself, what the fuck you want to do here? You try to use me to sell the car, my website. So, um, already back then, I decided I'm not going to put one online. This is incredible. Really, really is incredible. Uh, but this picture, this here, this was a good buy for me from Germany. As you see, this color blue like this, and the yellow, uh, this, uh, whatever that is, that, no, what, uh, I don't know what that is, with a, such a beautiful picture in the field with that. Really is beautiful car. Yeah, yeah. Merkel... Uh, She's a very funny lady, actually. You no, know, she had a lot of style, actually. For a woman, she's very, very surprising to me. Because women usually don't pay attention to it. But Merkel was... Merkel is an automobilist enthusiast. She is a, a automobile enthusiast, automobilistic enthusiast. And um, 
which is not normal for the ladies, really, and has excellent memory, has excellent ability to absorb the designs, the different designs that went on uh, that attributed to the change of the environment. Now, of course, she's a politician, but um, she also has a great detail for the cars. She knows a whole lot about uh, this transition, about the Cold War and everything, and did not forget. That's what's maybe impressive about her, that she did not forget about how everything changed. People with the cars, and cars with the people, and uh, social systems in Europe, the whole landscape. She does have a very good perception for the cars. I was not even born there when this car was made. Uh, and um, she remembered me inside of this car and uh, I don't know. The German government somehow managed to preserve these cars. See, it was made in 1975. Oh, this one was made already when I was born. I was born in 1971, December. So it's about three years old, three years of my age, when this car came to life. Uh, this car was not driven because Merkel did not allow one to be driven. Now, you're going to say that I'm crazy. No, I'm not. This owner uh, must be very wealthy people. This is not just like that because not really very wealthy, no. But um, it felt like some sort of really, really good friends with the Merkel. And uh, they literally would drive only car if I would come in later years. Uh, this was a father that used to drive this car, I remember. And uh, later on, this car would only be driven with her permission, literally. It would only be driven when, um, you know, it, she was very strict about this. She told him to not drive this car, to not drive this car. This is such a beautiful car that it's difficult not to drive. Oh, this must have been a pain. Yeah, really, it's a beautiful car. This is a really beautiful car. <laughs> this is this is uh, one of those uh, It's like Opel, it's like BMW, it's like Everything is in it. That's why she said that she wants to keep this car, literally for me. Where the hell is this place? It's in the hands of the handler, Verkaufer. Uh, the handlers, um, no longer is in a in a private hands. Yeah, this is interesting. Auto hundred geöffnet schlüsst um. I see. It's now in the hands of the Turkish guy, Mursel Turkilmas. Wow. Wow. Um. Yeah. He got a very, very special car in his hands. I don't know if he knows even how special car, but uh, this was a very kind city, whatever this is, because I remember this here. This is a state, uh, actually, Stadt, city hall. 
I remember this. Yeah, yeah, but where the hell is this place? Huh, <laughs> this is... Uh -huh. Yeah, I remember... Uh, I remember this man. I think he had a daughter. Dortmund, Essen, Münster. Uh, this, this, uh, this, this uh, seller, this Turkish guy, he. Uh, uh, through the German government, through the German government, they can take back the car. They have made some kind of arrangement. They can take the car back at any time. Uh, it was this kind of arrangement. Uh, it's like in a, you would say like the car is like in a, uh, I remember the family now, the whole family. Uh, yeah. It's not so easy to say, but uh, the man, the original man who had this car, the grandpa, uh, he, uh, I don't know if he's still alive. He probably is still alive, you know, that maybe he's still alive. I'm thinking about one time he drove me with this car and uh, he told me that he's not going to be from this city, but he told me that he's going to be from another city. Um, he was uh, he was completely absorbed with MKR. So now this is from one of the participants that was more involved, the fanatic in this case. Of this case, is quite fanatical. Um, he's not from this place, though. He is. He's not from this place. Mm -hmm. He told me there are three villages. There's some kind of villages here. Oh. It's actually weird they're selling it here. So he gave a picture, he gave a photo of this. But he said that he's only driving through there. That this is not... Uh, this is not where he is from. And uh, this is what I supposed to know. This is... He is... Um, oh, this is again tough. This is very, very crazy stuff. This is very, very tough one to find. Very difficult to find this. He had two daughters, not only one. Uh, they were using me a whole lot. I have a feeling that he is... Um, yeah, he was somewhere in the middle of the nowhere. He was... Uh, there was a lot of torture that went on here, at this place. A lot, a lot of torture. They alone were involved in the torture. Um, so I, I do understand the nature of uh, of this resale through the private handler. Um, yeah, they needed the money. This is how they made money. They were not really so wealthy people. This is not such a wealthy people, but they do have houses and stuff like this where they married. We do have houses, not house, but houses. One daughter moved to the bigger city, and but he is not from the bigger city. He is probably, I would say, from so let me see here where exactly we would. 
that's Düsseldorf, that's Frankfurt, and so on. Yeah. This guy, this guy, the more that I think about this stuff here, this guy probably, I would say, he's from Heiternamse. Uh, uh, this is like a shift into completely another world. This is very, very fucked up. Um, boh. He drove through here, through this place, but he's not from here. Um, so I'm thinking about where this guy is from. And so, uh, you know where he's from. He's probably from this area here, Bahnhof, Reken, something like this, Haydn, something like that. This is very, very close at three villages, yes. This one here is where he would take the photos of. Uh, probably to make things a little more difficult for me. Um, but we spent a lot of time in Halternamse. So he is toward Halternamse, I would say. Actually, excuse me that I am really wrong about this stuff. Yeah. Uh, I am wrong about it because Halternamse was the place that I liked it so much. And so uh, this must be the the the... the, the the location I was crazy about, Haltronamze. And uh, I did not go want to go to his place because uh, this place was fucking boring. This is just house and uh, land and uh, no rivers, no shit, you know. I actually humiliated him. He had a house and a daughters, at least two daughters. And uh, I told him I want to be in his fucking place. And then he got upset. So he had a reason for it. And he said to him, I know why. And I told him, because you don't have the fucking water anywhere. You don't have the river. Which was really not nice. Uh, really, really not nice. But during MK Ultra, all the fuck I want to do is I want to throw myself in the water. I want to be near water. I want to fish. I want to have fun. Oh, he had a really beautiful daughters. But uh, this place here was really, really exclusive for me this year. I visit this place right now for the first time. He is from this place, from the place that I demonstrated you. He is from this place. He really is from Halternamse. Because I... I uh, I I attacked everybody in this Halternamse. I spit on everybody over there. I told them they have no fucking water. They have nothing. And then the whole city got upset. <laughs> he is from the... I can show you the house, maybe. He is from the... Uh, not from the city center, but he's from outside of the city. Uh, let me see this stuff here. Oh no! Oh, what we have in this auto scout is the whole fucking collection of the people that were involved in MK Ultra. So. What a terror! Eh? Um, you know what? You know where he is from when it comes to this city here, because this place. It's so beautiful, this, this place, Halter Namze. They made me crazy, you know, they had ladies and shit. And, uh, and uh, this is the lakes and stuff like this. And so I didn't want to be there. So uh, his daughters are really beautiful, but they had more daughters here. <laughs> and, and they had the water. <laughs> so... Uh, I, I did spoil myself too much. <laughs> they were spoiling me. And then all of a sudden, uh, it was very bad for me. When they realized what they did, uh, the man almost pulled his hair out. 
<laughs> and they, every time they would return him me back to him, the situation deteriorated, and uh, he became so miserable. Uh, I thought really that he's gonna kill me sometimes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's actually kind of a funny stuff, uh, but. Uh, he is from outside of the city. If you ask me where is he coming, where, where in the city he would be, I would say something like this. He's from outside of the city. He's he's from like maybe Dean Plus. I don't know what the fuck this is, but his house it would be like something like this here. Like let me demonstrate you. Oh, they don't show the streets here. Okay, so that probably it must also not be him because. Yeah, the Germans would give in if I would go and already have that exceptional ability to show. Ah, maybe. Ah, let me see that. <laughs> this is kind of funny stuff. Yeah, his house, you know, his house was something like this, you know, something like this. So I'm probably not even mistaken. I don't know. I easily probably could be mistaken because... Uh, the thing about it is that it was every house in the city that was involved in it, you know, but uh, if you ask me where that would be, then I would literally go for this home here, you know, or you know, let me see. Um, yeah, and I did not like this. I did not fucking like this stuff. I did not like it. I didn't like this because the thing about it is, let me think over uh the thing about this stuff is that um he had like a house like this you know uh, why i you know uh there is no water everything is nice it's perfect yeah but listening and watching these people drugged up make me want to go fucking crazy i mean i was like like, literally, I'm going to fucking escape from the fucking place. I mean, you know what this reminded me of? It reminded me of my aunt. It was nothing personal, really. But it reminded me of my aunt when I was young. And my mom would always take me to Bela Kraina. And in the city of the Nova Mesa, there is a river. And I love water. I love water. I cannot be without the water, you know, around me. So, uh, and... Uh, this is where my mother was born in Bela Kraina. And the, the problem, the big problem, and I never managed to explain to these people the truth about this stuff. Yeah, then it was all too late. Then it was beating and stuff, yeah. Now, the thing is that um, uh, it was a very, very boring place, this place. This place was fucking boring because there was no... Yeah, there was water. Not too far from there, there was water, but I was not allowed to go there. I mean, if I did go there, my my ass was red. I mean, no good. I mean, uh, prohibited from going to this water because, well, they fear that I'm going to well, fall in the water and drown, whatever. And, um, well... There was nothing, there was just the fucking land and chickens. And so I had to make friends with the chickens and you know what that means. So in this place here, whatever this house is, I don't know, but they do have daughters too. It could be maybe that this is his house, I don't know. And maybe he's not. Um, what I can say to you is, uh, I... Uh, I thought I'm going to go insane listening to watching these people back and forth doing fucking nothing, basically talking and stuff. And this is like punishment, like the one that, you know, the one that I got when I was child, where I would go. I came crazier in the school than when it was a Friday uh, you know what I mean? I mean, Friday, Saturday, you're supposed to relax yourself a little bit, and I, I, oh, wow. Uh, I didn't like that stuff, All right? So, yeah, this is why, you know, the land definitely, truly was greener in that uh, city, not too far from it. 
uh, where they actually where they had this. Uh, uh, this family was very very involved in it. The family that I demonstrated you this. This this man has two daughters for sure. It's very German, blue eyed and everything. You know. Uh, but the man that uh, that uh, with this car uh, is not the same one. The guy that I demonstrated you here right now, the. The house that I demonstrated you, this house which I demonstrated you, he 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 looks like a like he looked to me like a philosophical. He looked to me like you know, you know in a way like even like some kind of professor or something like that, you know. But the guy I'm talking to you about, he also had daughters, and but this guy. Uh, it was different. He had a different facial characteristics. He had. This is like a classic German. This guy here. This is with the blue eyes, with a with like a beard, uh, very German looking. And the guy I'm talking about right now was a rather like a smaller. Uh, he was, uh, he appeared to me to be clean shaved. He didn't have any kind of beard or anything like that. I was like, more like a clean shaved. And it looked to me not so sophisticated. It looked to me like some kind of high school, uh, maybe like a mechanic, something like that. This guy here, the owner of this car. But he also had daughters. And uh, he also was out of the city center. Yeah, let me see this here. So, but, you know, there's a lot of areas here that is not in the city center. So, that's a little bit, that makes things a little bit difficult. Um, yeah. He's also outside of the city center. But, you know, you know, like also somewhere, it's kind of make difficult for me to go do this stuff. You know why? Because it makes it difficult for me to do this stuff because... Uh, well, you were able to see they don't even have uh, Google Maps everywhere, and so that really makes things difficult. Maybe I'm going to try to find this place. Okay, let it be. Uh, yeah, it really is difficult now. Uh, let me think about this. Okay. Yeah, yeah. How they started to hate this place here, this place, Halton Amze. The whole city here, uh, where Erkenschwick declared war on the on this city here, Halton Amze, because they claim that they are trying to steal me from them. So this was the most possessive city in the whole Germany. Oer uh, Erkenschwick. No, I am not kidding with it. It looks like that it was really good when they had me there. The, the federal government gave them good cash for it. Uh, they literally, you would not fucking believe this stuff. It's the war actually that broke out between them. I don't understand how come that the residents of the war air constrict did not <laughs> did not <laughs> made their own lake. I don't understand why is it they don't have the lake yet because I swear to God, I swear to you, there was a war between <laughs> two, two cities. One was Ur Erkenschwick and the other one was this one here. And it was jealousy because of the Haltrenamse. It was already stuff that went on because of the brown eyes and blue eyes. <laughs> I swear to you, <laughs> the war exploded because it did. I swear there was already ladies that started to get jealous. And the man with the car, the owner of this car, he, he, he became so miserable. He became so miserable. I swear to you that 
they almost declared the war on, on the neighboring city because they had lakes, because they had the rivers. And they were contemplating and thinking, why the fuck they have and we don't have the lakes and the rivers? And then they figure out, well, this is something that we cannot change. But no, actually, I think that you can change. Why not? There is a way to make artificial lakes. Uh, and I think it would, every city, I think it should have a beautiful lake. I think that there should be a big, 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 beautiful lake they should made here for this residents here of this or Erkenschwick. I think that that that's something that maybe that will be my project. Yeah, one daughter, one daughter, right? One, yeah. Uh, one daughter moved to uh, one daughter moved to Minster. Uh, actually, you know what? They told me after the Minster, which would be then Billfield, but that somehow does not make sense to me. Or Osnabrück. One daughter moved, if she didn't move to Minster, uh, according to uh, maybe Merkel, that it's, it's behind Minster. So that should be either Osnabrück or Billfield. Man, I had to go to the fifth gear again to to investigate further. And this is just like never ending story through the memory literally. Uh, you know, I'm doing other stuff right now, really. But one daughter moved to this direction, right? So this is the city is Minster. Uh, and uh, I never got to marry her, obviously. So then it was this kind of stuff also in my head during MK Ultra, which said like, fuck you. Why would I want to know where you moved? I mean, you did not get married with me. What, you know, what the F? I mean, you know, in that sense, uh, I should also know what she studied and all kinds of stuff like this. Um, what, uh, what kind of school did she graduate from? Oh, Lord. This I am also thinking right now. Yeah, I I totally can picture her. Well, this daughter who moved towards Minster, Billfield, and so on. Um, I could actually describe her facially. That's how I remember her. Um, it wasn't only one girl that did this. It was more than one. Um, she was not a success story, like in a sense of another girl. One girl ended up with a university, but this one, I would say, it was like, a, I feel like a high school or something in that sense, you know? Uh, maybe the house where I was at right now, they had a daughter that moved to this place here uh, toward Minster, Osnabrück, that she got married like this. So that's a problem. That's a big problem because it was not only one family, but it was the whole city that was involved in this stuff. That's I was crazy about, that she was slender and uh, she graduated. She had uh, probably university degree. But the other one I have stated, uh, I don't think that she had university degree. She had like a high school and uh, maybe some kind of nursing or something like that. You know, so it was more girls. Um, you know what? I'm actually thinking about something else here also. Uh, yeah, that, that makes it very, very difficult for me to do. Very, very difficult for me to do. Now I'm questioning if the man who, yeah, but he, this was the guy. I think that this was the man. Um, so we are talking about, we're talking about the two men. This is something properly I have pointed out. One with a beard, um, which is a little bit, uh, 
very, very confusing for me because, you know, this Turkish reseller, handler, car dealer, if you like, too, uh, licensed dealer, let's say, unnecessary car dealer, I don't know. Uh, he, you know, they, they suggested it was a family. It was, it was a bigger family that they told me that they can take the car back if they want. And that fits the profile of uh, this house where I was at right now, because they were more situated. You know, the, their daughters were more educated. They had degrees the house where I was at right now, but I don't think this was the same thing with uh, the guy whom I have recalled uh, that was pulling his hair out because, uh, you know, I liked uh, daughters at Halter uh, Namze more because of the water or whatever. Um, so, his daughters... Yeah, another daughter was more uh, in a better situation. And yeah, that's probably the daughter that stayed at home. So now the question here is, yeah, that is a possibility. I was contemplating something else because the way they, re they presented themselves to me is for the car sale, as for car sale, it appeared to be like a quite family, quite large family, well-situated family. And uh, there were no nonsense family. What I'm trying to say is that they uh, they were well situated financially. Uh, they were not some uh, you know which very 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 much fit description of what I gave you. This house also here um, because these daughters that they got married they got married very well. They they got married to financially very, um, you know, independent, um, well-situated uh, individuals, you know. Um, well, for sure, one stayed at home. Um, yeah, I have a feeling that this guy had more than one, than two daughters even. He had two daughters for sure. Um, and uh, those were well situated. They had degrees and so on. Very beautiful daughters. Um, but the other guy who also had daughters, I think they were not so financially... Uh, strong. Uh, let me see how far I can go here and what else I can see here. Oh, how many times they had me here. What is this here? This looks like a horse. Uh, this was a magnet for the British Royals, wherever you had that kind of terrain for the horse riding and stuff. And then that's that, basically. So I think that uh, at least that this is a village. We might actually even get this uh, where uh, the photos were taken, maybe, even for the car. So let me go back here, because this started to be really, really interesting. So it could be that this is it here, folks, that I actually found even uh, where this photos were taken. I'm thinking. Yeah, the asphalt already looks like this, you know. The asphalt already looks like this. Uh, Let's see this here. Yeah, uh, the photos would not be taken here. And that I really, really resent to the German government because 
Well, okay, but Angela Merkel told me that would be a village next door. She was, she did a little bit Argentina for me too, espionage. Uh, and uh, I'm going to give her that good. I'm going to look a little bit the area. It should be right the next door. So the chances are I'm going to actually be capable to find you where even the photos were taken, which is quite amazing. And for that matter, I will continue. Uh, uh, this is basically what we came from. Let me, uh, let me see something else here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, okay. So this is quite interesting stuff. Uh -huh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's not fair. I think that this is probably the house where this uh, village, definitely. I, I will go back to the village and see. Um... The horse riding is what uh, everybody was crazy about, except that what is this thing here? Is this really horses? Are they? No, this is uh, camels. Oh, nice. And some other kind of animals. So this is, this is, this is really not fair. Hey, I mean, come on, hey. You see what I'm saying? This is not fair, I mean. Is this fair? No, it's not. Ah. So you see, this is not fair. This is not nice. Yeah. Let me see a little bit one more time. This picture is here. Yeah, okay, so we have this here. I have this here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Slovenian language, we say this data, I think, but, but not necessary. Yeah, I should know exactly where the house and so on and so forth. All this stuff. Yeah. Um, uh, let me see this stuff here. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know what? Let me turn around here, and I'm going to go back, and uh, I'm thinking, I have to be very careful here with this road here, but I'm going to tell something to the Germans that you're really, really not fair. No, seriously, that you're not fair. Why are you making job for me so difficult? Um, well... Let me see this stuff a little bit more. Yeah, you, you know, they had a photographer. Could you believe this stuff? I mean, how boring. They had a photographer, literally photographer that was bullying me. And they were bullying me at what house, at what house the photos are going to be taken. And I was to them like, fuck off. I mean, yeah, these people here don't think good about these people. These people made a lot of money here. Let me tell you, hey, there was a lot of torture that went on here. This is this was not cool stuff. They literally wanted me to pay the price. Just like this. There was nothing wrong with me. They knew it. And you're really not fair. I'm going to say to you people, you're really not fair because... You know that nothing is wrong with me. What what was wrong is the stuff that you were doing. And you literally wanted me to pay the price for something that, I don't know, are you really so crazy or what's going on with you? But the thing is that, don't you understand what went on? I mean, how were you capable to watch me, see me like this, when literally I was taken from your homes into the psychiatric hospital. I, and you witnessed, you saw what went on with me. I mean, I don't understand you. I really don't understand you. What kind of price do you want me to pay? I mean, uh, 
not nice. I will tell you something that this is really not nice. Really not nice, you know. Uh, okay, uh, let's stop here. And uh, yeah, I'm done talking. Uh, not nice at all because look how good I am. I actually came to the village exactly to the to the doorstep so where most likely this car is from. And how can you be like this? I mean, you know what I mean? Why are you making it so difficult for me to do this stuff? You know? No, seriously. I mean... Why would you want to do this to somebody like myself? It's like a detective movie every time. Uh, and they really make it difficult, rather impossible. Uh. The Turkish guy, he married some German girl, from what I remember. The Turkish guy that you have listed him here, uh, where is this man? Um, she is, uh, uh, you know, I should actually even know about this stuff also. Uh, what is his name? Mursel Turkilmas. He married some German girl. Um... Let me see something else here also. What else? How far can I get with this stuff here? Um, I, uh, I'm, not, uh, I'm not done with this stuff. We're not done with it. I'm just going to see this house a little bit more. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the owner of this car... I think, yes, I think he's actually the neighbor from the man that you have seen, that I have spoken to you about. I think these two are actually neighbors. So I was in this street here, boom, which is this house here. And then we go here, and I'm going to go, and let me see if I can get here. Hold on. Let me see what here is. Uh, it will not let me inside here. Let me see this one more time. If I can. Yeah. Um, he is just not as wealthy as this guy, but they are neighbors. I figure out that he's not as wealthy. I, I figure out that those guys that you see right there, they're quite wealthy. But the man... Uh, I am looking for right now is not, to me, it, it appears that he's not so wealthy. So I would actually even say that that, uh, that, that, that it could be that, that he's got house here. On this side or on the other side. Yeah. You know that the owner probably would be rather from here, from one of these houses here. So this is, this is the village. This is the original village. This is the right place. I am at the right place. No. It would be here, this way. Hold on a moment. Let's go back here. All these houses were involved in it. So... To me... You know, um, okay, uh, so do, do we understand each other now? This here is what I would say that the owner of the car is rather from the residence here somewhere. Actually, probably maybe even behind it. And I'm going to go out like this, and I want to see what exactly is here. So we got this here, we got this here, we got this here. Yeah, but I am mistaken. I am mistaken. Or am I? Let me see this stuff here. Yeah, I am mistaken because uh, 
Um, Is he going to actually put me? No, it will not allow me to go there. This was total, total MK Ultra. this place here, folks. Total, total MK Ultra. Um, no, don't, don't, don't believe into, into, into the issues, you know, like, uh, blue eye, brown eye, don't know, no fucking way, no. Uh, let me see this here. So. Uh, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the fuck out of here because I am going to go and, uh, and uh, I will try to just uh, show you where these photos were taken. Uh, so this is where you come to the main road. Yes. Uh, let me go here. You come to the main road and then you turn. Uh, right, and then you should go here. Let me see. Uh, and uh, uh, let, let me just see something else here. This is this is where the police did stuff. So um, so this is this is so fucked up. This stuff here. This is yeah. Yeah. I know that the car also is probably nothing uh, so uh, special to most of you. Um, yeah, it, it, it applies to the people like myself that... This older generation, I would say that that um, let me see this here i have to go like this and see it because it's not gonna do me shit so that i see the road because it's the only way for me i think that i can i can uh, i guess yeah 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 this is one of the oldest mk ultra locations yeah yeah i am heading toward whatever plus this is yeah so but um Hold on a moment, because the thing is that they told me this year it's going to be something like this. It's going to be, they're going to do, the, the photos are going to be taken. It was like, you, you would not even, it's what I was told. It's, it's going to be a road that you're not going to even see when you turn inside. And I just passed one like this. And so, fuck it, I have to go out again and see this. No, this is not easy stuff to do, no. And it's extremely time-wasting, and this is what they have done it. This is what they wanted to do. They wanted to waste, basically, as much time as possible from me. And it applied to absolutely all the issues pertaining to MKUltra. So, uh, this year, this is not it. I can, I can tell you that this is not it here. Uh, they wanted to drag me down towards, uh, which I want to see with my own eyes again. For me, this is like, uh, you know, a revival of the memories. You have no idea how much violence went on here. This place here, um, it, it, it angered me deeply, especially because um, why did it anger me so much, this place here? Because, again, it brings the memories of uh Milan Kuchan is henchman police and uh it takes away any kind of special relationship anything that would otherwise exist between me and uh 
German government, the Germans, and so on. It completely deprives me, it zones me of any kind of, uh, you know, that I would feel that because Germans all the time instigated, they always try to make me feel special about things, you know. But the thing is that uh, there is nothing special about this stuff. This was a route where the one who would make himself feel home were literally police officers, investigators uh, that were using me for a torture purposes, literally. Uh, yeah. Sure. Uh, special place for them. Wonderful place. They had life like nobody has it. Uh, but for me, it, it was not like this. So, special, yes, but for whom? I'm 52 years old now. Now, that makes things a uh, whole, a whole, a whole, a lot of difficult for me. Fuck this. This again stinks. I can smell Robert Golob. I can smell all the Udba people from Milan Kurjan. Uh, very, very unpleasant place. Very, very unpleasant locations. Uh, and when I consider the silence, German silence, uh, and when I consider uh, stuff that went on, and uh, so it becomes to me uh, evident that it was the German government because of whom I ended inside of the psychiatric hospital. Already they interrogated during MK Ultra to see how I would, what kind of perception that I created in my head. And then based on that perception, this is how the Germans do this stuff. They complicated things even more, suggesting that you're going to have to work harder because that one is worth it so much and so much. So it's worth it so much and so much because I lost 52 years. That's why I don't, I don't, uh, I don't like it. This is the reason why I don't, I don't like any of that stuff. So, the picture should have been taken here somewhere. Do you know who chose these pictures? Where to be taken? This individual here. His name is Robert Golob. He is apprentice from Milan Kutan. This guy here. So, keep your fucking car. I don't want your car. Uh, this made me even more angry now. He was the one who chose the location for this stuff to be done this way. And you wanted to waste my time more and you wanted to cause me more problems and stuff. You keep it. This place brings the memories of... Uh, This year, yeah, and I don't want to sit into the car like this. This individual here, that you see here, this one here, this one, uh, this one here, this, this one, this, this one. He um, he literally, do you know what kind of anger this was and how he swear that he's going to fuck me and so on? He also in the Germany and stuff like this. 
I am going to bring the German government in front of the facts. Uh, I lost 52 years of my life because of the German government. This participated in bestiality that was performed on the villages in area, literally in the Germany. So, by coincidence that I have found this car, that car right there, and uh, I am going to bring you in front of the facts. So I think you're swines. I think you're not people. I think there's nothing humane in you. It truly is not. He was the one who chose the location, this location, where for the car to be taken the photos. And he prided with him, himself, fucking me. Oh, he's going to fuck me. Yeah. They use the state, the German photographers, and they contemplate on how they're going to do it. That kind of stuff. So, uh, with one word, I'm going to tell you, it sucks. It should be in this direction here. He was laughing at me. This individual literally was laughing at me about the car where the photos are going to be taken. This company here is going to have to give all the, absolutely all the, all the data about the cars they had listed and disclose uh, about people that were involved in it because they brokered uh, a government business, basically my case, literally German government brokered my case, literally through this company, through the Auto Scout. 24 the air. they were always involved in it the company practically came to life through this case not not practically but it did uh, and so you know what I lost uh, I lost this, the taste for that car I totally lost it It, it, I don't feel any, anything about that car anymore. And uh, <laughs> yeah, the photos should be taken here. But the guy that you have seen, this Robert Golov, claimed that they were taken in another, completely another village, whatever. Uh, the Turkish guy moved to to this place. Um, I have no fucking clue. Maybe I would say like in 2002, something like that, before that. And uh, <clears throat> it could be, actually, I think maybe even it is, that he married... Maybe even a daughter from this guy, but I am not sure. Maybe he did and maybe he did not. It's very, very possible. Uh, she just has a high school, something like that. She did gain a lot of weight also. Uh, I think it was something like this. And uh, I think I'm actually mistaken. I think she is the, the girl that he married, that she is from a neighboring, uh, not from this, that uh, this was another girl, and she's from, mm -mm, she, um, this is yet another daughter that is from also from the area i think and went to live in the village uh, in the city uh i don't fucking know maybe works in the city like uh i don't know maybe like a librarian or something like this i don't even know uh and the two started to date sometimes like in 2000 2002 and this is where the German government and this criminal, actually this Slovenian criminals, uh, did all the best, all it possibly could have to destroy me through the torture, through the bestiality, through the MK Ultra, as made the world acknowledge me as a racist, which is fucking unheard of.
drugged up, subjected to the torture, uh, turned into the racist, labeled as a racist, and what United Nations started to use as an excuse to perform bestiality. Even, even the use United, in the compelled United Nations into crime against me started to play through United Nations uh, with matrimonial issues, negotiated the money that supposedly belonged to me, according to MK Ultra scenario, uh, through what will become my wives and so on. So, total, total lunacy. And in process, I lose 52 years of life, ended up inside of the psychiatric hospital. This is reality. This is this year. And these are the so called communists. These are the so called communists. I want you to take note. They refer themselves as the leftists, as the communists, uh, Borut Pahor, Tanya Fayon, uh, leftists, communists, ex communists from Yugoslavia. And I'm saying this so that the communists can see how this actually works in reality. Because I don't think that communism is everywhere the same, and there was a good reason why it failed in Yugoslavia, throughout Yugoslavia, and throughout Eastern Bloc, Soviet Union. But this is what survived, and what survived is nothing other than crime, basically. These people always enforced against people, and will continue to enforce. So I wanted, I want this this case to be used, this is going to be, this is the case that's going to mark Germany at the court of how Deutschland did together with Slovenia, with the Milan Kuch, and don't oh, fucking tell me you did not collaborate, elaborate with them, work with them, because you did. You did this stuff. That's how I started to hate multiculturalism and you know, nothing other than hate and hate and hate and hate. That's how the people, did, that's how they kill people. It was so prosperous for them that I don't have to be mentally ill. They just label you as mentally ill. And uh, hope that through persistent torture will make you mentally ill enough to have the proof. That's Europäische Union, European Union. Yeah. Um, this is going straight to the internet. A beautiful car, but I'm not interested in. So that's why it's going to the to the to the internet. The two started to date in 2000, I would say, and uh, so. She is a daughter from, like, also a local farmer, maybe even, and she immigrated to the city. And in the city, maybe, I don't know, she worked in the cafeteria or she worked, uh, uh, it was something like this with what became, uh, I don't know if the two are still married, his wife. Uh, but I think, I think they likely are. Yeah, so this goes to year 2002. 2000, 2002, a lot. So we can do that stuff too. Well, it's it's not uh, it's it's not okay that that you would. Uh, that you would do like this stuff to somebody. I mean, that you would you would fuck with somebody. That you would, uh, you know, the way they have wrapped, the, the way they have twisted this crime, and they they did it in a such a way so that, uh, literally, they did it in a such a way that that uh, it made me actually even feel special for a moment when I saw this. Uh, this is how it ended, the MK Ultra. The MK Ultra ended with driving me with, with, with you know, with, with this car. Uh, but I'm afraid that the old man is not alive anymore. I think he passed away, probably, because... Hmm. 
because I remember the Merkel was inside of the car, but uh, I don't remember the old man. There was some mature guy inside, but this is not the old man. I don't know. So, you know, uh, this girl that uh, he got married to, I always had a feeling that there is a Yeah, I can see something else here. Yeah. Let's see this year. Oh, this is this year. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is something else here that I had to consider also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about something else also. Uh, let me see something else here also. Yeah, I probably should really research this before I would do the video like this. But the thing is that this is this is so beautiful to me. To me, the way I went through the memories that that uh, it's priceless enough for me, I will use this video literally at the court to relate myself at a later stage to the memories that pertain to this German case, which uh, they embraced more than multiculturalism. Slovenian politics uh, on how they're going to do it with me, how they're going to do away with me. Uh, and so see, I'm glad they found a common punct. Well, I will say something to you. For the rest of it, it doesn't even fucking matter. I don't give a fuck about uh, who cares after all. Camping plots, Natur Park. Uh, nothing. Uh, there is only one thing left for me to do here. And uh, those are the photos that are not those that you see right there. And I would go and I would look into uh, this here. Uh, this is in the city. Uh, yeah, then it's also questionable about when you have this on the picture about the information itself. How legitimate, because that's where also lies comes to play. Uh, yeah. Uh, there was also a daughter that had a father only uh, in the city, and I'm thinking about that one as well uh, but no I think exactly what I stated I think that his daughter the daughter that uh, this uh, Turkish guy got married to uh, to be quite precise about it I think that actually it would be from the neighboring area from here someplace from this area here not farm but something like this that it would be one of the houses. I am not going to go through all the houses and do that stuff. You know, I did the videos yesterday on my father. And um, if I go to the city of the Novo Mesto, 
Uh, I was not the first one who pushed father on the wheelchair out of the home for elderly people. Uh, there were others before me during MK Ultra that demanded from me to do this stuff. And father made me crazy together with the police all the way to this place here where they would deliver him on a wheelchair and it's his father who claimed uh, to police who played with my sanity during MK Ultra by portraying how they had managed to rehabilitate the father. They were creating total pathos, total, total story about how, what I have to do to rehabilitate the father. And they delivered him all the way here and he was on this bridge with a wheelchair and fishing and stuff like this. This kind of stuff went on during MK Ultra. This is the type of brainwash. This is what they wanted me to enthusiastically basically throw myself in the arms of the lunatic that is used by the police to literally more than break my spine, commit myself to crime so that he could get excuse for everything he had done to me throughout my life, which is disgusting. This is my father, my loving father is trying to place me back into the psychiatric hospital, even more so into the jail, basically, together with the police. So when I visited him the other day and at home for elderly people, um, and um, every time I try to, to, to make a difference, uh, he is he's taking advantage of it turning things into something that could you know really literally through causing physical injuries he's trying to create pathos in me and exercising an ultimate derision laughter for my attempts to rehabilitate him help him up when in fact i have my own serious very very serious health problems this is how the Slovenian police works. So, you know, when I consider this kind of stuff, uh, and that's how they wanted me to waste time, that's what the police told me directly. Uh, they wanted to control my website through these issues. I don't see the need, I don't see any kind of urge that I would browse the streets here and get Germans such a pleasure of it, wasting more time. Uh, this is um, the truth about the Germany. I'm not going to say that anybody failed or anything like this. If anybody did, I lost 52 years. And, you know, whatever pertains to Angela Merkel, that it starts on, it's just a extremely, extremely rotten woman. Extremely, extremely criminal. Extremely criminal. I find this extremely, extremely criminal. I find this uh, disgusting. This here also was the road that was used here. This here. This was the road also that uh, this guy, Robert Golob, claimed me that is going to be where the photos are going to be taken. Uh, so what they wanted me to do is they wanted me to browse, waste my time, and eventually not place anything online. But the thing is that, yes, this video, I never browsed this area. I never did this stuff. This is good testimony, and it's a good proof about the bestiality that went on in Germany. Uh, I think that they, uh, Angela Merkel, uh, this German beast, uh, wanted me to hate Germany because this is a very, very German car. Uh, Angela Merkel explained to me that this is probably the most German car anyways. Because of the characteristics that car has, you know. Uh, for those that know, it's got a little Audi. It's got very Audi lights in the back. But then you can see that was also, for those that know these older cars, you can see Opel in it, this big Opel. And you can also see uh, the lights also are somewhere in between also old BMW that you see and you can see Mercedes in it um, 
you know you can see you can see these fenders nice rostry you can see the uh, remind very much of the bmw and what's also with a little bit out of it became uh, audi and so on so i think what angela merkel wanted to do is the same thing like she did with my teeth she broke my teeth uh one of the major supporters for Milan Kuchan, for, for the guy that I demonstrated you, was play with destruction of teeth, through which they believed they would score a case of schizophrenia, as I demonstrated you. I don't like this woman, to be honest about it. And uh, I don't give a three fuck about Germans either. If you're not capable to, to have... If this is your water, your German, the way you do this, you do it like this, this kind of stuff, that this is what you have your polizei and this and that and all this, that you're gerecht and your German Staat, that this is what it comes to, you know. What can I say? What the fuck? I am just happy to be alive anyways. I did not immigrate to Germany. Because I knew that this would turn into this kind of stuff, you know. Yeah. So, this was the reason why it was the U.S. And so, it looks to me like you have to hijack people, literally, to the Britain and to the Germany. So that you can have your politics going, you know. And it's, your politics so bankrupt. Now you're going to probably look better because of the Ukraine. And even that's questionable. But you're probably going to look better because you have some case that you managed to develop so that that places you somewhat into the righteous position, but your past is just as glorious as my case. So. Sad story. For what I know, yes, for what I know, you know, uh, I'm not going to even continue with this stuff. Who, the, who gives a fuck? Uh, listen, um, this is a whack job. I ain't got no fucking time for this stuff. It's a whack. It's what I call whack, wacko. Not interested in any of that stuff. Wasting time like this, I ain't got no. Uh, I don't know. I suppose to know, um, go through the streets and that. We're just going to cut short here, this stuff. Um, the lady that he got this turkish guy um it's obviously a garage in the city that he has um i'm thinking about something else also here um it's supposed to be she's supposed to be from this area here somewhere something like this i uh, let me think about that stuff here Um, there's like a possibility that her father is a mechanic something like that I don't know I don't know It's not such a big house, no. This is just a house that is, this is just a house that would be rather like, yeah, it would rather go into a, like a smaller house, you know. Um, you know, she is, uh, if anything, you know, you would have like a home like this, something like that, you know, something like this. Um, 
I have to think more about it, and uh, when the time comes, uh, I definitely will. This is just what do you who who what am I gonna how am I gonna what what am I supposed to do here? I mean, this is a very very difficult issue. It's a very very difficult issue because the the people are so fucking dishonest, so criminal that you know just did not take initiative. They just did not take the effort. To even stop this shit, what the fuck is here to say? <laughs> yeah.